everyone and welcome back to my channel for another video. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to my channel, I appreciate you being here. Um, I'm going to do a ring pour today and I'm going to use fall colors. So we went from, I live in Arkansas, from 95 to 100 degree re weather last week to waking up this morning and it was 53 degrees. So I'm going to do a fall inspired um, painting using all these fall colors. I've got yellow ochre, crimson red, Van Dyke brown. This is caramel with gold in it. This is orange. This is a deep pearl or a pearl, deep pearl uh, brown. And this is burnt sienna. So I've already, and I'm in this order, I've already gone ahead and I've layered the paints in my cup. And what I did is I took, oops, almost dropped it, each color and I just poured it down the side, as you can see. That way, my paints would sit on top of each other. So I've got two larger cups that I'm gonna pour, and then I've got a smaller one. So I'm gonna do the larger ones on either side, and I'm gonna do the small one on the inside. So I'm gonna start with the small one. And I'm just gonna do a ring right in the middle. Okay. There's a lot of orange, so I'm gonna turn my cup so that I can get some of the other colors on that side. There is no right or wrong when you are doing a ring pour or any kind of pour. It's whatever you wanna do. Okay. Oops. Kinda messed that part up. Ooh, the cup is pretty, look at that. All right. Pulled my cup up and I'm just gonna go right back over where that part was. When you're doing a ring pour, it is good to have your paints a little bit thicker. You don't have to, it's totally up to you again, but it does help keep the shape of the rings. I'm almost at the end here. I'm gonna gotta concentrate. And I wanna pull it up. And that's got a little bit of a tail on it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but when I pulled my cup up, a little piece went this way. So I'm just gonna take my skewer and reform the center. And right here, just make the rings a little bit better, okay? Now I'm gonna do my other ones. I'm gonna do one here and I may kind of do it th this shape. Instead of doing a perfect circle, I may kind of do it oblong. I'm gonna take my other cup. Let me move these out of the way. Cause when I start tilting, it's gonna get in my leftover paint. There we go. All right, so let's, let's just do that. We're doing a ring pour, not ring pour. There we go. This is kind of more like a ribbon pour on this one. But that's okay. You can do whatever you want. Your studio, your rules. Quoting that from Gilly Cube. If you haven't seen her, she's really, really good. She's from Australia. I'm gonna do this. I love that yellow. There we go. Turned out to be more of a ribbon pour. That's all right. There we go. I love that white coming through. It's gonna be pretty on that dark. Okay, look how pretty that cup is. It's really pretty. Okay, go ahead and shift that just a little bit. Like I said, my paints are thick. Okay, I'm gonna do the other one. Kind of the same fashion, more of a ribbon pour. Go. Just 
start seeing some of that light color come through. There we go. There's that yellow. Be pretty. This way. And all these lines and squiggles that I'm putting in the paint as I'm pouring my cup around, they will show up. Okay. That is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pop my air bubbles. Definitely looks like fall. Orange and browns and yellows and reds. I have a beautiful red maple right outside my window here. Okay, now I'm just gonna start tilting a little bit. And I'm gonna kinda go in a circle here. It's gonna be interesting to see what this does. And like I said, my paints are thick. I don't want that to go off yet. It's gorgeous colors. Bring it back this way some. Don't want it to go off. It looks like I have something in my paint. Right here. This, this is interesting. Let's keep on going. Look at that center. That's pretty cool. Sometimes you can have something in your mind and you don't know exactly how it's gonna turn out until you, until you try it. And then other times it changes as you go. And that's fine too. That to go off a little bit over here. I do that all the time. I'll start out with one idea in my head and then I'll start to pour a whole nother painting comes out. Okay. What I'm gonna do is wet that canvas. I've got some of this red over here. Just so it'll move along a little bit easier. And over here. It's always good to have a little extra paint for just this reason. And I've learned not to pull it over the canvas. Of course, I just did it then. But I've dropped paint in the canvas and it's ruined it. I mean, in the painting. And it has ruined it. Do a little over here. Super cool. That Deep bronze and that gold should be really pretty. I'll leave that one. So that is the gold. I may need to add some sparkle at the end. Put that in there. Okay. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more. Just to make sure. I mean, part of this I'm doing for the color. Just to make sure that it's not solid colors. There we go. All right. Okay, I'm gonna continue. Let's see, where's the weight of my paint? You can see the weight of my paint's over here. So. I'll turn this again. Okay. Tilt it back. You can see the weight right here. See how it's moving? I don't want it to go off yet. I want it to go back this way. It's looking pretty cool. See the weight of that paint pushing over that corner? There we go. I'm going to move this so to help it move along. 
Paint, when paint's thick, it does not like a dry canvas. It does not like a dry canvas at all. There we go. Push that up there. Okay. Turn it again. I love the yellow streaks going through it. I hesitated adding that yellow, but I'm so glad I did. There we go. Okay. And we'll turn it around and get this last corner. Okay. It's slowly moving. There it goes. With that canvas right there. There we go. It needed some help with that wet, wet canvas. Definitely wasn't gonna move on its own. Oh, there we go. Just a few more seconds. Okay, perfect. Oh, I love it. It looks super cool. Definitely, definitely fall. Okay, I'm gonna bring you down for a close-up. I'll see you in a minute. There's the full painting. I think it turned out really pretty. Very different than what I imagined because I was starting out doing, I was gonna do a triple ring pour. But then as after I did the first ring, I decided I changed my mind. <laughs> so I ended up doing basically a ribbon pour with the ring pour. I think the ring pour is super cool. It stretches the entire way of the canvas from one corner to the other. It's just really cool. And there's a lot of sparkle throughout the entire piece. It really is pretty. I'm going to turn my studio lights off and see if you can see some of that sparkle in there. It's hard to capture on camera. There we go. It's throughout the entire piece. And then orange. Because remember I had the gold and I also had the deep pearl brown, but it is all the way throughout the piece. So it is definitely gonna have some sparkle. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget, always be creative. And if you decide to try something different right in the middle of a painting like I did, that is perfectly okay. It's your studio. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. And as always, you have a great day. Until next time, bye.